In this Canva tutorial, let's take a look at all the photo adjustment options that we have, or at least some of them here in Canva. First, if I want to make some adjustments to this photo, like maybe I want to add contrast, maybe I want to brighten some areas, maybe I want to add some sharpness here to the foreground and maybe some blur to the background. What we can do is click on the photo for starters and then go to edit photo. Inside of edit photo, we can see all these effects at first, which sure you have some effects you can add, you have some filters you can add, but the one that, or the area that we're gonna look at is actually adjust. So up here at the top, we have an adjustment section. In this tab, we have so many different options. We can click this auto adjust button right off the bat. So if we click on that, we can actually see it make some auto adjustments right away. We'd increase the intensity or decrease the intensity of that adjustment or any of the adjustments that we make here. Uh, or we can unclick that or click it again and make the auto adjust go away, I should say. Now, as we move our way down, we actually, like I said, we can make adjustments to the whole image or we can adjust just the foreground or adjust just the background. So if I click on background, it's going to take a look at the background and kind of figure out what the foreground should be, which should be these two people. And then if I want to, I could actually scroll down to clarity or something and maybe reduce the clarity of the background to make our subjects pop. Or I could come up here and reduce the sharpness of the background, which would be like adding blur. We could increase the sharpness, but we don't want that. We're going to reduce the sharpness a little bit, which adds a little bit more blur behind our subjects. Now, what if we select the foreground? We could do the opposite. We can increase the sharpness of the foreground a little bit. Maybe not too much, but maybe just a touch, right? Just a little bit. And now our subject kind of pop off that. We can increase the clarity just a little bit. And then what we have here is white balance, which gives us a tint to our image. Tint, of course, as well. So we have temperature and tint. We have light, so brightness, contrast, highlights, shadows, the whites and the blacks. So you can increase the, the uh, brightness of the whites. You can decrease the darkness of the blacks or increase the uh, grayness of the blacks, if you will. We call that crushing the blacks. You can also adjust colors so we can make the colors more vibrant. We can make the saturation, which the way to think about vibrance and saturation, saturation is making the colors pop a little bit more, but vibrance is like doing the same to maybe a little lesser degree. And there's probably a more technical way, but that's the way that I remember them. If I want to just make a tiny tweak, I would just adjust vibrance a little bit. Usually it looks way more natural. And then we have this texture section, like vignetting, clarity, sharpness, etc. And so that was just affecting the foreground. Uh, we can also affect the whole image and uh, do our own settings for that. We even have this color edit mode down here. So we can click on this color and we can make some adjustments to some different colors that are being pulled out. So for instance, if I wanted to, I could adjust uh, these two colors that are sort of, they're sort of automatically picked out of my image. So it'd be like a skin tone and then maybe the, you know, major, I guess, other tone that's in the image. So in this case, it would be like a suit jacket, kind of that blue, which we could pull or desaturate a little bit there. Um, I believe if we also select on the image now, we can't select the image itself. So these two are just kind of picked for you from what I can tell. That's our photo adjustment. So if you weren't sure how to like add contrast to your whole image, you can do that right here in the photo adjustment area. And you can make all these tweaks here to make your image pop a little bit more here in Canva.